Um, hello. And welcome back to the Paper Soprano podcast, uh, question mark. Um, you're here, you made it, and so did I. Honestly, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit not feeling like myself today. I'm a little bit feeling like, I don't even know who, you know, like, <laughs> it's, who am I? You know, who do I feel like right now? Who? Because it's definitely not myself. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so literally, like, oh, God, I just can't really explain it. Like, I'm kind of feeling like just super tired and like I want to just be horizontal, you know? Like, I just feel very strange and like I did... You know, maybe this is why I did a lot of stuff today that I feel like I haven't done in so many years. And maybe that's not true. Oh, literally, <laughs> literally cue the barking. Like it's, it's as soon as I start talking, it's so funny. Um, but I, I did some things today that I haven't done in a really long time. And, I don't know, maybe I'm just, like, emotionally drained from that. Like, I did some little crafts, 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 crafts. I am literally a singer for a living. I can pronounce things, so you better watch out. Crafts, crafts. Am I saying this? <laughs> crafts. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to move on from that. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So I did two little crafts today. Wow, I should choose a different word. Girl, you better stop. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway, um, you know we always talk through the dogs barking. If this is your first time listening to this podcast, God bless you, girl. Because, like... I can just tell you right now, like, my eyes are, like, half open. I'm tired. Like, this is going to be a hot mess. It's literally not even 7.30 p.m. Um, but, yeah, so I did some two little activities today. Um, and I one of them was, like, this macrame kit that I got from my mom for, for Christmas. And if you don't know what macrame is, I don't know, go look it up. Google it. Like, you have a literal supercomputer either in your hand or sitting in front of you right now. It's like rope all tied together in, like, a fancy way, and you hang it up on the wall. Like, <laughs> and this one had some little, like, bead things to put on it. So I was like, oh, let me just throw some beads on this. Let me just, you know. Don't mind me. Let me just make a craft. <laughs> and, ooh, girl. Um, yeah. So I did those two things today. And it was weird because I was very much involved in it. And I feel like sometimes working with my hands, like if I'm doing something that's very detail-oriented or very... Um, you know, requires a lot of small muscle control to, like, make something look a certain way or, like, produce a certain movement. You know what I mean? Like, it's something very small. Like, not like a big thing, like, you know, like doing martial arts or gymnastics or something. I know that has some small muscle control for sure, but it's more like large body control. I'm talking, like, knitting or, like, painting or drawing or braiding something, you know, whenever I'm doing something like, something like that, I feel like there's always a large chance that I can become very, like, manic about it and either, like, lose track of time or, like, start getting really weird about it. <laughs> and by really weird, I just mean, like, obsessive about it and, like, trying to make it super 
not even add perfect isn't really even the right word, but like make it super specific. And like I'll have this vision and it'll be like, I have to create this vision. And even if it fails, like even if it does not work at all, I will literally still be like, okay, well, I'm just going to change it up. I'm just going to change it up. Like, I'm just going to do this and blah, blah, blah. And sometimes it can be really weird. Like, I used to, I feel like I used to get that way a lot about a lot of things as, like, a child and, like, a young adult, like, a young teenager. Specifically, like, cleaning and, like, just menial tasks, brushing my teeth or, like, um, you know, just, I was very specific about things and it was very frustrating because I felt like I could control it, but then like somebody would walk on the freshly vacuumed carpet that I spent like 15 extra minutes, like making those lines in it, you know, like back and forth lines. And I'd be like, Oh my God, now it's ruined. Like, what's the point? Um, or like I would brush my teeth and like, basically have, like, a manic episode brushing my teeth, being like, okay, cool, I'm just gonna, like, brush my teeth, and but I'm gonna listen to music while I do it, so, like, I'm gonna brush my teeth, and I'm gonna floss, and I'm gonna mouthwash, and I'm gonna exfoliate my lips, and I'm gonna do, like, a lip treatment, and I'm gonna put chapstick on, and, you know, might as well put lipstick on and stuff, and it's just, like, all of these, like, weird, like, escalating tasks. I don't really know how to describe this, but... So that kind of was happening today, and I'm, like, fine with it. In a way, I kind of miss that energy because, like, sometimes things are just, like, they're just, like, too clear in my mind, and I, I'm not able to, like, get into, like, the zone. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not able to get into any kind of zone and do things and... I don't know. Am I making absolutely any sense? That also happened to me today, though. I was organizing papers. When I tell you I haven't organized, like, you know, like that pile of papers that you have, like, near your desk or under your desk or on your desk or somewhere where you keep, like, all of your financial papers and your papers about your car and blah, blah, blah. I have not organized that pile of papers in so long. And when I tell you that's so not me... I mean it. So, like, the fact that I was able to do that today and, like, just felt compelled to organize that freaking pile of papers, like, that was kind of a great thing. Like, I was happy about doing that. And while it is kind of concerning that it's in, like, kind of a weird, like, manic fashion and, like, it's very roller coastery and I don't really feel totally fulfilled by the action. I was happy because I got something done, if that makes any sense. Again, these, you know, I'm not hesitant at all to talk about my, like, mental health and, like, that kind of thing because I think that it should be totally normalized and people should talk about their things that are going on in their life. And right now, today, honestly, that was pretty much my entire day. Like, I did go to work and I did do other things, but... The main focus of today, like the highlights of today, were the fact that I made a freaking macrame thing and also organized a bunch of papers and, you know, I did a couple other things. I actually went to Target and got some things that I have been needing and I did a lot of um, cleaning around here. I actually was able to do quite a bit of cleaning and I'm very happy about that. But it's like, dude, you know, like, that was the whole day, pretty much. And, like, I did some practicing at school, or, I mean, when I was at work, and I was able to work on my score a little bit there. But it's just like, you know, sometimes the day is just consumed by these smaller tasks. And it's unfortunate, in a way, because you feel like you can't, you feel like you didn't accomplish anything huge or you, you were like, whatever, like, you know, I did a bunch of little things, but it doesn't matter because I didn't do that one big thing that I wanted to do. Like, and I just, I kind of disagree with that because it's like, dude, on the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of things, 
it's like, you know, you have every single day ahead of you to do things, like, to work on those big tasks. And, like, you will accomplish them. You will do them. But sometimes you need to, like, do the small little things, like, you know, organizing those papers or dusting your headboard because it's filthy or, like, you know, cleaning the back part of your toilet because there's hair on it or something. You know what I mean? Like, just doing those small things sometimes will contribute to a better quality of life. Do you know what I mean? That's just how I feel. <laughs> and also, I'm just so tired today. I can't even tell you. I did have a coffee. Or no. No, I didn't. I had a matcha. Uh, uh, which is a blended green tea drink for anybody who doesn't know what matcha is. Um, it's basically just for like... I don't know. <laughs> I can't describe who matcha is for. Like, I don't... I think it's been... I think it's been taken over by like basic white girls. And I can attest because apparently I am one. But... Yeah, dudes. Oh, oh, I had a, a great moment today, and I was like, I have to remember to say this on the podcast, even though I'm never going to, like, re-listen to these again, so it's really just me just talking about it once more before I <laughs> put it to rest, I guess. But I had a really, like, breakthrough moment today, and it was so small, very small, but still a breakthrough nonetheless. It was like I came home here and I was pretty exhausted just from existing out in the world for some reason that took a toll on me today, which it normally doesn't. But I came back and I was exhausted. So I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to like set a timer like I do. I've talked about this a couple times on the podcast now, but I'm going to set a timer and I'm just going to freaking sit here. I am just going to sit here. I'm not going to turn on a meditation. I'm not going to turn on music. I'm not going to, you know, scroll on my phone. I'm not going to do absolutely anything. Absolutely. Why can't I speak today? God. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to do anything except for sit here. And you know what? <laughs> Do you know what? It wasn't that difficult today, you guys. <laughs> it wasn't as difficult as it has been in the past. And if you have listened to any other podcasts where I've talked about this, I am very candid with the fact that, girl, I need constant distractions. Like, it's, it's a bad thing, and I know it. This is why I'm trying to amend it. Um, but like, oh God, it's so disgusting for me to be like, oh yeah, I'm just going to like sit here and not do anything. I need like 500 forms of stimulation going at all times so that I don't have to worry about like, you know, overthinking something. <sighs> and you know what? It wasn't so bad today. I didn't do all of those things. I didn't try and you know, pacify these problems for those 15 minutes. And that doesn't seem like a lot in comparison to the whole day, but, like, it's, it's, a, it's a step forward, I think. And in conjunction with, like, doing those things that I have been not doing for a long time, like, in the way that I wasn't doing them for a long time. Like, cleaning, I have obviously been doing, but I haven't done it in the way that I did it today. And, like, I recognized the patterns that I was doing more than the ones that I have been experiencing the past, like, four years. Does that make any sense? I feel like it's... It sounds really cheesy for me to say it, but, like, I feel like I recognize myself more now. Now that I'm really looking for myself. Like, <laughs> ooh, I'm looking for myself. But, like, 
I am, you know, and I, now that I'm really looking for, you know, who that might be, it's like, okay, well, what do I really want to do? Like, I'm in charge here, so, oh, you know, like, what's, what's the, what's the sitch? What's the 411? <laughs> um, yeah, so, that was kind of my day today, you guys. Also, if you're ever looking for other podcasts to listen to, you should really check out two. I'm going to recommend two of them to you right now. One of them is a really funny dude from Canada, and his name is Curtis Connor. He is really, really just a funny guy. Like, if you're looking for something uplifting and, like, at times you will literally, like, spit take laugh out loud like he catches you off guard with these things like it's very casual and very non-confrontational and it's not you know I I really appreciate that that he doesn't like resort to um you know being an asshole and then that's funny you know what I mean because there are so many comedians like that like don't get me wrong I like guys like you know I don't know, like, all those big comedians who are, like, terrible human beings, like, I think their their comedy is funny, but it is kind of unique and weird to hear Curtis Connor's style of comedy, which is, like, it's just, it's funny, and it's not funny because it's, because it's rude or mean, like, it's funny because it's, like, what? Like, <laughs> it's funny, and it's, like, in a weird, like, I don't I don't even want to say nice guy way cuz he's definitely not like a you know like a soy boy nice guy like that's not what he is at all but it's it's just a it's just a vibe like I can't describe it <laughs> ew like it's just a vibe in a weird way I can't describe his comedy um I guess it's like trying to describe somebody's singing style. Like you can try and there's a couple of descriptor words for what you, they've got going on, but like I don't know, unless you give like specific examples, it's going to be it's going to fall on deaf ears. But listen to his podcast. It's called Very Really Good and it's incredible. Very good. <laughs> Very really good podcast. <laughs> And I hope I'm saying that right. God, a fake fan if I'm not. But he's put out like over 150 episodes and it's just quality content. You can't ask for anything more. And he also has a YouTube channel and like I I don't even care. Like I'll plug people on here. Anybody who knows me knows that I like I don't know what it is, but I will be your hype woman. Like, I will hype you up. Like, I will literally hype you up so bad, dude. Like, I have no shame when it comes to, like, plugging other people. Like, I don't find that degrading to me. You know you know how some people are like, oh, yeah, I mean, I like what they do, but, like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, they try to put other people down to make themselves seem better. It's like, oh, yeah, I like that. But, like, I don't know. Like, I hate that. I hate trying to talk to somebody about someone who I like or, like, being like, dude, what do you think about so-and-so? Like, you know, if they genuinely don't like them, fine. But if they're just kind of like, mm, yeah, I don't know. Like, I kind of, like, I get it. But, like, uh, you know, like, I'm just, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't get that. Like, why? Like just feel like it could be done a little bit better and they start like nitpicking like all these strange aspects and like I just kind of personally like I like to do this when I would do that or like this is my preference it's like dude but they're not you it's not about you you know like everybody has their own like little flair that they put on whatever they're creating it's like you can like that flair and not like lose anything from your own flair and it it, you can you can like and appreciate and hype up other people's flares and like you can be like dude your stuff is amazing you're you're this you're that you're all of these things and that does not make you less of a creator in your own field does that make any sense (laughs) like 
I just get so confused. I feel like people are so afraid to show vulnerability in creative fields. Though it is so strange because people are always like, oh, I'm an artist. Like, I'm so emotional. I'm so, like, in touch with my creative side. But, like, also I get really angry and I, like, totally discount other artists. And I, like, am really nasty towards them and, like, I don't appreciate them. And every time I hear a singer that I don't like, I'm like, ew, here's all of her, like, bad technique. And here's all of her this and here's all of her that. I'm like, dude, you need to, like, chill out. Like, it is not becoming of you, girl. Like, <laughs> and I'm not even really, I'm not even thinking of anybody in, like, anybody specifically. But, I don't know. I just find that very interesting. Yet, I am the kind of person who will hype you up. Although, I feel like I have kind of been, like, a naysayer at certain points in my life in the past. Like, for sure, you know. Because it is hard to, like, humble yourself and be like, oh, yeah, that's really good. And just leave it at that, you know? There, you don't have to qualify your own art when you're listening to somebody else's art. You know? <laughs> um, and the other podcast that I wanted to talk to you about and just, like, say that I like, I don't really think they need a promo by any means. <laughs> Um, but I just started listening to this podcast, and I personally like listening to podcasts. I find them very interesting, and I like um, hearing what other people have to say about their lives. And I have never really been a fan of this particular show that happens to be on YouTube, and it has been for many years. Good Mythical Morning. I am only just recently discovering this because I feel like it started many, many, many years ago. Not trying to age these guys, but Rhett and Link, they have a podcast and it's really good. And um, I think it's called Ear Biscuits. Very good. You know, highly recommend just in general. They're very funny, but they also are, they, they had this one episode, I think it was last year, that kind of sparked some controversy. It was like this really far out conversation about like religion and like ooh girl like <laughs> red flag that is a red flag like I I was listening to it and I was like I cannot believe these two guys are talking about this because they seem like very PC kind of like almost like aimed for children-esque type of content on YouTube but just you know just very ad friendly you know what I'm saying? Sponsor friendly. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it was so weird to hear them like really go into it about religion. And you'll have to like look up these episode names because I don't necessarily remember what they're called. But like, oh man, it was it was intense. And there were some really interesting points being made and just like Oh, you'll have to listen to that because they were both raised in the South and they were both raised like evangelical Christian, I guess, I think. But they, yeah, they were talking about like death and like, um, I guess like the concept of heaven. I think I remember that. I'm not exactly sure, but I, I highly recommend they went way over the time that they were, like, supposed to go. So I think it's a really long episode. And I think there might even be, like, a part two. Because I think that at one point they were getting, like, a little bit heated. And, you know, as conversations about religion do. But, like, you know, those kinds of podcasts are really interesting to me. And... Being able to observe a conversation and not participate in it is something that it's just so unique, you know, and and not like observe it like it's on TV and blah, blah, blah. And like it's all staged and, you know, characters are talking to each other or even like talk shows like talk shows are staged as well. Podcasts, I feel, are just different and and if you're like oh podcasts are you know I like a couple podcasts but you know it's kind of just like radio like whatever it's talking it's in the background not dude radio's fake too like radio 
is weird. Oof. And, like, the, the radio that is here on Long Island, like, I don't know if y'all have just been growing up with this or whatever, but I don't know what the heck is up with the radio here on Long Island. Um, <laughs> they've got some weird segments. Like... There's this one that's like, there's just so many games now on radios that's like, you can't beat me, like, here's five trivia questions, and if you beat me, then you win a gift card or something to, like, Outback Steakhouse, and it's like, cool. And, like, the trivia questions are so obscure, and they're usually, like, out of date and, like, cringy, and you're just, like, listening to it because you're like, I can't believe this is actually happening. Like in the present day and I'm not like <laughs> I'm not like in a time machine back in like 2005 like very weird but also dude not gonna lie I think Curtis Connor honestly has an episode on his YouTube channel about this like weird radio show things but there was this one thing and I it just keeps coming up it keeps happening and I think it's called like it's not missed connections because I know that's something else but it's it's some some weird thing where one person from like one side of a relationship calls into the radio station just like super organically no no questionable motives here and is like oh you know my boyfriend like hasn't been talking to me and um i think he ask somebody else to come over for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh no, now what do I do? And they're like, don't worry, we're going to call him. We're going to call him right now. We've got, you know, Trent on the phone with us right here, right now. Hello? And it's like some weird dude being like, hello? And they're like, Trent, is this true? Have you been standing up, Jessica, on your dates and blah, blah? And it's literally like the most staged fake thing and the Brent guy goes yeah you know what because her feet stink and she is disgusting and she never takes a shower oh and it's like Jessica's like what I thought you liked that oh my god no and then it's like this weird I'm not I am not kidding like these are the types of things that I hear at like seven in the morning on radio stations here on Long Island <laughs> not kidding you just have to like look it up or something it's so strange and I feel like if you have no idea what I'm talking about it's they just call in they call in and like they pretend that we don't know that it's fake and like there's also ones that are like prank call like literally like like I was saying 2005 prank phone calls being like Oh, hey, this is, you know, Ron Johnson, and I'm trying to sell my dishwasher extraordinaire. It's only $6,000, and actually, we have your credit card number, and we're actually going to come over and install it right now. And some, like, cranky old lady is like, what? I didn't order that. What are you talking about? Stop calling me. I'm going to call my grandson, and he's going to block this number. And it's literally like, <laughs> so cringe dude they pretend they have this weird facade going that they think that we don't know that it's fake and they're like could you believe that oh my god you know she was just so upset wow oh god no need to get that upset it was just a prank <laughs> i'm like oh my god <laughs> it's like this is why i can't consume this type of media anymore it's because of you. Like, don't you get it? <laughs> oh, God. And I think they think that the wackier or the crazier or, like, the zanier it gets, it's like, then more people will listen to it. But it's like, no, dude, we're watching it as if it was a car accident. Or we're watching it until we literally just, the bile just creeps up. And you're just like, oh, okay, um, I'm about to puke, literally. So, um, got to turn this off now. Like, that's, that's the, that's the breaking point there for us. It's not because we want to know what she's going to say when you call her for the third time in a row on the radio. As if she doesn't know that this is a prank and that you called her beforehand and we're like, hey, we're going to call you three times in a row. 
Okay, is that okay? Just make sure you answer all three times, like, on the first ring. And make sure you say something crazy. Like, don't, you know, don't hold back. Okay? Yeah, thanks. Bye. Like, don't pretend that you didn't do that. It's a radio show. Like, you can't... Oh, God. <laughs> all right, people. I think I need to exit. But I am glad that I have this little podcast here with you guys because... There is something to be said about just being straight up about things and like, not even just like straight, like I'm being straight up about this, but like for real, just talking about something and whatever it is, just like expressing yourself and letting the word vomit come out. And like, there's something very powerful about that. I feel like it's kind of like, like physical like if you were to just like dance in your room like there's there's a manifestation thing happening where like you're forcing a certain chemical to be released in your brain by doing that or like exercising or eating or you know whatever anything like I feel like talking is kind of like that in a way and I'm glad that I did this because I was kind of in a weird mood when I started um but now I'm feeling now I'm feeling rejuvenated at almost 8 p.m. But I guarantee that as soon as I stop recording this podcast, <laughs> I'm going to put on my PJs and, and Rob's go to bed because I have been waking up at four in the morning, <laughs> like pretty much every day. <laughs> um, but then I go back to sleep. So it's really not that big of a deal. I, I stay up for like an hour and then I go back to sleep for like a half hour, which is honestly really bad. Don't roast me on my sleeve schedule. (laughs) Uh, It's fine. You can roast me if you want. But yeah, okay, guys, I think I'm going to exit. Said that already. I really appreciate you being here and listening to this madness. We've got some guests lined up in the next couple of days, y'all. It's going to be good. Uh, yeah. So get ready. Get yourselves all prepared for that. I don't know if you need to get some popcorn or like a beverage. Just get it all ready for the next couple of days. (laughs) Not tomorrow, though, and not the next day. So don't get your hopes up. Okay. Um, all right. If you like this podcast and you want to support it, though, I don't know why you would. (laughs) I appreciate you, and I think that you should leave a comment, or a like, or subscribe, or a combination of all three. Your your choice, your pick. It's up to you, okay? And yeah, that's going to be it for today, you guys. Thanks for listening to my strange, crazed, sleep-deprived ramblings. I appreciate you. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night whenever you are listening to this. And don't forget to practice today. (laughs) Live your best life. Seriously, go ahead and practice. It'll help you be a better person, okay? All right, I never know how to end these podcasts. Oh, my God. (laughs) Okay, love you, mean it. Bye. Yeah.